The next exercise is uh, a foot exercise. So this is called the Stone Killer. Uh, it's an exercise by uh, Joe Morello from his book Master Studies. And Lawrence Stone, of course, was the guy who wrote Stick Control. So this is uh, based on his exercise, the Stone Killer number two, which is soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud. So the accent is on the offbeat. One and two and three and four and one. And we're gonna do the same thing with the feet. This helps you play a more even stroke, double stroke roll at a fast tempo because the forearms are moving in a 16 note manner. And to compensate for that natural accent on the first note, uh, we accent the second note to make the roll more even. Otherwise it sounds like this. Not this. Okay, so same thing with the feet. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, uh, 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 and so on. You speed this up. You do this to a click track. Two, three, four. Soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, loud. And then, of course, in double time. Then of course in triple time. Okay, and the way to get there is to start slow, speed it up gradually. Always maintain that sort of accent on the second stroke. It's not an inverted double, it's just an accent on the second stroke. One, two, three. Then you speed it up where it feels comfortable. And almost, almost sounds like a roll. You know, at 160, 170 BPM. And then eventually bring it up to 200, 210, 220, whatever you can master. Then just play one phrase for extended periods of time make sure you're always accenting that second stroke for example choose you know um, say 16 note triplets <coughs> two three four double it up with the beat and just play simple time on top of that Then of course increase the tempo, you know, push it to wherever you can. Say 130. That's two, two, three, four. you can choose different note rates different phrasings and push the tempo up to 200 or more whatever you feel comfortable with as 30 second notes for example one two three four You're still trying to access the second stroke So it becomes more even at this table. You can also train your left foot, if that's the weakest foot, by replacing the right foot with the right hand. That's a great linear coordination exercise, uh, which we also do at the camp quite a bit. And just play right hand, left foot.
give your left foot a bit of a workout because that probably needs more training than your right foot. Some great exercises uh, you can do to prepare your left foot for the double strokes is one, the left foot shuffle on the hi-hat, for example, one, a two, a three. Yeah. Or on the kick drum. On your left kick drum, because that's exactly the motion you'll need. It's an ankle stroke and a stomp. That's exactly what you need for the stone killer number two. You can play time with your right foot. Um, you can flip a kit around and just play uh, left foot shuffle and quarter notes with the right foot. Um, and then of course work on the tempo. And really push that. Uh, it's exactly the same motion you need, the same kind of technique uh, that you'll need for the double strokes. And then once your left foot you know, has a little more command and uh, gets used to this kind of motion, then start working on the doubles. This is actually easier because the distance, there's now four strokes. So there's two strokes distance between the left foot patterns. Uh, when you play the shuffle, there's only one rest you know, of the triplet. So it's a little easier even to play the stone killer. And uh, yeah, work on those, enjoy. You know, double strokes are half of what we can play. There is, is literally 50% of our playing potential are double strokes. There's only two controllable strokes, singles and doubles. Uh, everything else is either a multiple bounce, you know, a texture, like the, the, the buzz roll. I don't know what exactly I'm playing, how many strokes I'm playing, but I always know when I'm playing singles or doubles. So um, we focus on those, and another great exercise uh, for developing doubles is to play double stroke roll inversions, as in a regular double stroke roll starting with the right hand on the beat, The next bar is an inverted right double. The next bar is a left double. And then a left inverted. Three, four. So the whole pattern sounds like this. Four. goes a little faster and play it with the feet. One, two, just playing a simple beat. Okay, and then speed it up. One, two, three, four. Okay. And you want to be able to do this at a very fast tempo, you know, up to 200. Because you want to be able to play doubles or inverted doubles, starting with either the right or left foot, uh, depending on, uh, you know, your sort of playing situation, what you want to play at any given time. You don't always want to be limited to just starting everything with the right foot, okay? So you want to be able to play uh, double stroke rolls, starting with the right foot or with the left foot or as inverted doubles. You know, because you need different variations for different things. And eventually, the whole point of doing this with the feet is we want to be able to play whatever we play with our hands. Also with the feet. Rolls with accent. You know, um, same thing with the feet. 